This is a review video for Biology 10, uh, the genetic section. If you are working on these problems, pause it in between the questions and then answer them on your own before continuing on. Example 1. A long-haired female cat is mated with a short-haired male cat. All of the offspring are long-haired. What is the dominant trait, the recessive trait, the male genotype, and the female genotype? Just a quick review of terminology. Traits are the physical characteristics, such as brown hair, blue eyes, long earlobes, etc. Phenotype refers to the physical appearance of an individual, for example, a short-haired cat. Genotype is the set of genes possessed by an organism for a particular phenotype. For example, capital L, lowercase l, for a heterozygous long-haired kitten. An allele... Uh, is the name we give for the different forms of a gene. So capital L and lowercase l, uh, which could be the genes for a long and short hair in cats. So traits, physical characteristics, phenotype, the physical appearance of an individual, genotypes, the set of genes for an individual, and allele, the different forms of the gene. To return to the question, the cross we have is essentially this one. We have a long-haired cat, a short-haired cat, who have gotten together, low can some candlelight, little dinner, and created a long-haired kitten. What is the dominant recessive traits? If we have a long-haired female cat, and all the offspring are long-haired, and the male cat is short-haired, the dominant trait is the trait that has appeared in the offspring. So the dominant trait is long-haired. The recessive trait would then be short-haired, the trait that disappeared. The male genotype and the female genotype. Well, given the particular uh, example in which the offspring were all long-haired, the only type of situation you'd see this if both of the cats were true breeders, uh, i.e. they were homozygous for their genes. For the genotype then, the female has the dominant trait, and so we will use the capital letters L to represent the homozygous dominant, and the lowercase letters for L to re represent the homozygous recessive in the male. Given that the offspring were all long-haired, that only comes about if the male and the female were both homozygous for their dominant and recessive traits. Now, what kind of cross is this? Uh, the parent cross, then, is the capitals and the lowercase. So we have a homozygous dominant and a homozygous recessive. What kind of genotypes can these make? Well, the genotypes from the female, uh, you can an egg with up, um, the dominant gene, and the other L can make an egg with also the dominant gene. Uh, the male will make uh, little spermies with lowercase genes, one from each one. And the F1 offspring combination possibilities can then be this egg with this sperm to create a heterozygous individual, this same egg with the other sperm to create another heterozygous individual, the other egg with the first sperm to create a heterozygous individual, and this egg with the other sperm to create a heterozygous individual. Heterozygous, a reminder, means having different genes. Now, the F1 offspring end up all having the same genotype. All the children are 100% heterozygous, capital L, lowercase l, and long-haired, which matches the description in the question, so we know that we're on the right track. Now, you can see that this process of determining the F1 offspring looks a little complicated. We're crossing our lines back and forth. There is an easier method to do this, and this is known as the Punnett square. If we take the genotypes of the parents, for example, we have here the mum, and we create a cross that looks like this. Uh, we draw a line here to divide it and show that this is the female, this is the male. Uh, the genotype of each of the parents were capital L, capital L, lowercase l, lowercase l. And now we divide the gametes into each box. So one gamete goes here, 
and the other gamete goes here. Same for the male. One gamete goes here, and the other gamete goes here. And now we can combine them, just like a multiplication table. Always put capitals first uh, to see what the offspring are like. Now we know our offspring were all long-haired kittens. We can then see they would combine the capital L on the lowercase l, the capital and the lowercase, capital and the lowercase, capital and the lowercase. Our genotype is heterozygous for long-haired is dominant, which matches our little kitty who is long-haired and all of them, 100% of the offspring we would expect to be long-haired, which matches what we know. This Punnett square is a little bit easier to organize in terms of determining what the offspring are. Now this has been relatively easy, that both of the parents were homozygous, one dominant, one recessive. A more complicated cross would be the F2 offspring, and that would be if we took these little kitties and mated them together, brother and sister. That would be the F2 offspring. If you can, pause the video and predict the genotypic and phenotypic ratios for these offspring. The Punnett square for the F1 mating to produce the F2 offspring would then look something like this. We would take a brother and sister and use the Punnett square to separate the gametes. So, capital L, lowercase l, capital L, lowercase l. So the gametes are represented by this section of the Punnett square. Uh, we do usually rep uh, indicate here which side is male, which side is female, but in this case it doesn't really matter. And then, like a multiplication table, we combine, combine the genes. So the first box here would have both capitals from here and here. This capital would come down here and combine with this lowercase. This capital would come down and combine with this lowercase. And then these two on either side would combine here. And now we have a little bit more complicated system. These represent boxes here represent all the F2 offspring. We have a homozygous dominant, two boxes of heterozygous, and then one box of homozygous recessive. Just to review the terminology, homozygous or purebred or true breeding refers to an organism in which the genes you're talking about are all the same. Uh, capital, both are capitals, both are lowercase, uh, but there's no heterozygous with one dominant and one recessive gene. Heterozygous, or hybrid, refers to the, all genes being different, so having a capital and a lowercase, uh, never referring having both the lowercases or both the dominants. Uh, in my class, I would prefer to use the terms homozygous and heterozygous, uh, but you may, may see purebred, true breeding, and hybrid uh, in some older textbooks or articles online. Now that we've gone through one example of a F1 generation and an F2 generation. Uh, the next video will focus on a specific example and ask a lot of questions about it. You should know enough about the terms and the process to attempt the next question.